The title of this work is Assessment of Larval Therapy in for Clinical Cases of Animal in Bogota, Colombia. The author are the following myself, Felio Bello, Mauricio Rey, Adriana Castañeda, Juliana González, Victor Acero, Alexandra Segura. This group uh, belongs uh, to the Rosario University and the La Salle uh, University from Bogota, Colombia. Introduction. Maga therapy is a natural, simple, and safe, and highly successful method for treating necrotic wounds when conventional treatment fails. Also, this therapy is now now used as an adjunct, adjunct to conventional modalities of treatment. The larvae's action may be categorized in two, three main areas. Debridement, disinfection, and bacterial death, and stimulation of wound granulation and repair. The maggot's larva has been less used in veterinary medicine and there are only a few cases of animal treated with this methodology. In Colombia, a recent assessment, assessment of larval therapy as applied to infected wounds with Pseudomona aeruginosa in rabbits was carried out. The antibacterial action of Lucilia sericata larvae was demonstrated on the growth of bacterial colonies. Pseudomona aeruginosa were controlled and eradicated from wounds in shorter periods as compared to the parallel treatment with gentamicin or antibiotic. Also, the process of healing by larval therapy was of better quality and shorter duration than would have been with unconventional treatment. Larval therapy can be used in veterinary medicine for the elimination of abscesses, chronic wounds, and several kinds of benign and malignant tumors. What is the problem in these uh, cases? <coughs> the animals, chronic wounds, represents an important health problem due to the low efficiency of tissue regeneration and a significant economic problem that um, often results in low livestock production. The application of traditional allopathic methods in many cases is ineffective. Larval therapy is a valid option for using on animal wounds that do not, not uh, respond to conventional treatments. Objective. To evaluate the larval therapy treatments applied to four cases of animals with infected wounds that were brought to the veterinary clinics of the University of La Salle in Bogota, Colombia. Methodology, approximately 300 eggs from a colony of Lucilia 
Sericata, Bogotá, Colombia, Strain, Wear Use. This ex were immersed in 0.5% sodio hypochlorite for 10 minutes afterwards in 5% formaldehyde for 10 minutes then wash three times with sterile distillate water for three minutes. Sterile transfers to petri dishes containing a thin layer of blood agar in which the larvae hatch at 27 degrees centigrade. The sterile larvae were refrigerated at uh, 4 degrees centigrade, centigrade before being used in each treatment. Cases uh, being evaluated. Four animals were treated with larval therapy at the veterinary clinic of La Salle Universidad, University Bogota, Colombia during uh, the year 2007 and 2008, a physical clinical examination was uh, conducted on each animal before, during, and after the treatment. Variable edema, exudate, odor, swelling, and presence of granulation tissue according to the evaluation method of Gualina et al. 2002. Case one. Bovine female mm, three and a half year old was admitted to clinic with a lesion in the left abdominal costal region six by four centimeters with a depth of five centimeters. This affected the integumentary system and muscle and originary from and ruminatomy. Uh, case two, bovine female with an um, abscess in the left iliac fossa due to an infected wound from a surgical complication. Began treatment with maggot therapy as an alternative method to the apparent lax respond to treatment with antibiotic from November 1st to 9th, 2007. Case uh, three, equine five-year-old with <coughs> laceration, open wound, and contamination on medial phase of left four limbs was admitted to the clinic on February 1st, 2008. On March 7, 2008, due to inefficient results with antibiotics, a larva treatment was started. Case four, canine male with a deep and extensive wounds on the left four limb as a result of being hit by a car. The lesion had exposure and rupture of tendons, muscle, and bone. Prior to treatment with larvae, the wound was widely infected and treatment with, with antibiotics proved ineffective. The application of maggot, maggot therapy began on June 12, 2008. Result. There was a significant improvement in each of the animal cases, and the lesion reacted 
favorably two out the times of the treatments. This table shows the values of quantita qualitative variables according to the parameters of Golina et al. 2002. Beside, on this table, uh, we show the evaluation period from day zero to 12. On the other hand, the range of the scale go from three to zero, with three indicating the worst condition and zero indicating the best condition for each variable according to the wounds. Case one. Between day three and six, there was a reduction of, of edema, exudate, and swelling with presence of granulation tissue in the wound. On day eight of larval therapy treatment, there was no necrotic tissue and excellent granulation tissue had been produced. Complete recovery within 12 days of treatment. Case two. On day six of larval therapy, the wound shows a decrease of inflammation and edema. Granulation tissue had developed, reducing degree, the degree of inflammation and exudates. The wind showed a significant improvement with the wound almost completely closing on day seven of treatment. Case three. From day three to day six, there was decreasing edema and odor presence on granulation tissue was noted. The wound healed completely on day seven of the treatment. Case four, on day three, there was decreased edema, uh, odor, and inflammation with increased granulation tissues. The intense, intense color of the tissues made clear clear the favorable evolution of the lesion. In addition, profuse blood supply was detected, starting the successful healing. Discussion. Similar results to this study have been reported in other animals. For instance, the words of Timans, uh, 2003 and Bell, 2001, who treated wounds with larval therapy in donkeys, showing recovery from day three due to decreasing the necrotic tissue and infection. In case two bovine, where there was a deep wound in the left iliac fossa, the improvement began to be detected between days three and six which coincide with the results recorded and similar wound in a chip Kosisova et al. 2006. Another fact that deserves to be highlighted in this study was the absence of adverse events from larval treatment in these animals, which was similar to the majority of works previously carried out. However, one major problem is that this study that has been carried out in veterinary medicine presents funding from a small numbers of patients, usually without comparison to conventional treatment and therefore have low statistical powers, term uh, quantitative, John and Walls, 2008. Conclusion, the treated animals chose 
adequate repairs of different lesion, lesions without secondary effects. The action of this treatment was demonstrated by a better quality of tissue healing and in relatively short times. MAGA therapy is a potentially effective alternative for the treatment of wounds in different animal species. Thank you very much.